All right, hey guys, it's Money in the Bank, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make a song with note blocks. So to start off, let's get some stuff. Get some dirt. Um, get some... I really should have done this before I started the video, but... Ooh, that's a lot of note blocks. Um, what else do we need? We need... Some redstone torches. Doesn't matter if they're on or off if you're using these hacky things. And some. What is it called? Redstone dust stuff. It shows up as wire in this because. Or white. And I don't know why. So to start off, make two blocks of dirt. I'm a sh this is going to be a really simplified version. You can take it on to higher stuff later, but then skip two, and then put two dirt blocks, and then skip two, and then put two dirt blocks, and then skip two, and then two dirt blocks, like that. Now, you're going to want to take out your redstone torches and redstone wire. Place a torch in the on top of the first block. And then in the front of the end of that block. In the top, and in the front, and in the top, and in the front, and like that. Now take your wire stuff. It'll be red if you got it legit. Place it down on top of the block. So it makes a line to connect these. And then place one on all sides sticking out of this thing. And then do that for every block. Alright, so now you got the basic <clears throat> setup of the stuff. Now watch when I break this. See how they went? They turned off in a sequential pattern. Sequential. Uh, <laughs> did those cows just spawn? Alright, whatever. Off topic. Now. Take your note blocks, and I always like to do my bass notes on the left, and my melody notes on the right, and I'll take a normal chord, I don't know what chord this is, I have it written down for a song I'm doing right now, five, six, seven. Now, you actually need wood if you want your blocks to sound like a bass note thing. Like, hear the difference? Now, just gotta do this for these. Oops. Whoops, again. Alright. Perfect. Now I'd go on the right side and let's see what goes good with. I'm gonna figure out what chord that is. That is a G sharp. So let's do. I don't know. Let's do. Let's do the same thing in a hi hat or higher register. Six, seven, eight, nine. Are those the same color? No. I went too far. If you go too far. Start back at one, so then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then nine. So let's see what this sounds like. This is one. You'll hear it. Hear that? You can make a button to make it go too. That's pretty much how that'll work. And you just repeat this on and on and on and on. And if you want like a little bit of a delay in between your block, you can put in a, a repeater or something. I haven't really learned how to use repeaters yet. 
But you can also just throw in another um, one of these things to come off to the side. And then this one will play like in between the time of that one. You really just need to mess around with it. This is just like the basic idea for it. And you can get this pretty cool stuff. I will walk over here and show you what I have been working on. I will be uploading the full video in a little bit. Not in a little bit, probably like a week or so, because it's taking a while. But, this is probably 10 seconds of the song Every Time We Touch by Cascada. A little longer than 10 seconds, or I can't remember what seconds I said. But here is this. It might lag, so just bear with that. <laughs> There's still just a normal two off to the sides, two off to the sides. So yeah, I hope this helped. I can go more in depth with it later if you want to learn how to do some more special stuff. But as of now, this I think will help you get started, and then really you just need to mess around with it. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>